Okay, so this is um, walking in to the front door. Uh, to the right, there's a coat closet. With this little um, cute landing area for shoes and coats. Dining room. And the stairs go up there. To the right, I would say this is like a formal living room. You could probably do an office. And then we come into the living room, which you step down there. Eat and breakfast table. There's a lot of business cards, so my guess is there's probably going to be quite a bit of interest on this home. Kitchen, they have nice white cabinets. This fun turquoise here. Uh, this is granite, um, I think. Actually, I don't know. That may be Corian. These nice wood floating shelves. Pantry, which has the turquoise door to match the bar. Nice size pantry, actually. A lot of shelves. And go this way first. Dog door. Um, let's see if it's left. Okay, good. All right, so it steps out onto uh, like a tile type floor, and then they've built a wood deck over there. Really big back here. Seems to be all fenced in. I mean, when I say big, this backyard is massive. Fence goes way back there. Tons of space. Um, we definitely have some, some rotting wood here and here. Uh, an FHA appraiser may call that out. Um, it looks like there's a trench here. I, I think on the seller's disclosure, I saw something about them putting in drainage. Yeah, you can see there's a drainage pipe there. But I don't know if you're going to have standing water here. I'm not sure. Um, these are the septic caps. So it is septic system. It's all hardy plank. And that's a little dirty, but doesn't look like it's in bad shape. And there's a gate over here where you can come in from the side. first which I think is the garage and yep a powder room so the same kind of countertops is in the kitchen they've updated the mirror and the um, cabinets and cute little farmhouse style light back to the dining room and here's your garage which they're using as storage right now, probably from having to declutter the house. The electric panels out here, two car separate, um, separate garage doors. dining room with this big table. All right, let's see. How do we open the gate? Okay. Wood stairs. Okay, we'll go to the right. This is the primary bedroom. So it's actually a pretty big bedroom. That's a king size bed. They also have this um, like dressing table looking thing, this big dresser, plus this chest at the end. And you can see there's still a lot of floor space. Bathroom. Double vanity. Big soaker tub. Separate shower. Your window looks out into the backyard. 
toilet and closet. Not a huge closet, but it's probably fair enough space. I don't see anything crazy going on with the ceilings, but it does have all this, like in terms of watermarks or anything, but it does have all this open stuff I want to point out. And go this way. So they've actually replaced the tile in this bathroom, which is pretty. Of shower combo. It's been retiled. Same kind of vanity as you have in the primary. This is a linen closet. Oh, this is the cute bedroom with the gold polka dots. Really cute. Very high ceilings in here. So although it's a fairly small room, the high ceilings make it feel really awesome. And it's actually not that small of a room because they have this big dresser. This is a full-size bed, desk, shelf, shelf. So there's actually quite a bit of room in here. Closet. and dryer so upstairs so you're not going to be carrying laundry up and downstairs you have some shelving up there and the bonus space which has a closet so we can consider this a bedroom closet space looks like a full-size bed but I would guess you could probably figure out a way to get a queen in here if you were to position the bed this way and that is it